These are the ones we're talking about as the top predators in their own ecosystem. These animals inspire terror in the hearts of all other living things. The top hunters in the world, apex predators, are renowned for their lethal efficiency. Yellowstone National Park, late spring. Elk is in calving season, which means newborn calves are closely following their mothers as they learn the skills they'll need to survive on their own. However, for grizzly bears, calving season is dinner time, as the sight of a defenseless little calf is impossible to refuse. Grizzly bears have grinding teeth in the back to help them gnaw on tough plants, although this is not their primary source of nutrition. Grizzlies have long claws for digging up food like insects, roots and even shellfish. And they are always on the lookout for food of any kind, whether by hunting, grazing or scavenging. This bear's large stature and powerful digestive system make it a top predator. This grizzly weighs in at about a thousand pounds and its relatives get much bigger in areas with an abundance of fish. When the salmon return to breed, they fill the rivers and the bears feast on the fat, rich bounty. Creatures of all ages congregate at the river's edge in hope of reeling in a meal and the largest of them take what they can't catch farther inland in the form of bison, which are twice as large as a typical bear and therefore not easy to bring down. However, where there are bison, there are also calves. And the trick is to separate the calf from its mother. Tigers can weigh up to 600 pounds and they bring a nasty set of canines and claws to every encounter sprinting at 35 miles per hour. However, the biggest and most powerful cat on earth misses far often than it kills because it lacks one key quality, stamina. A large tiger has to get within pouncing distance of its target or it will tire quickly and have to give up the chase. This one is able to merge into the grass thanks to the music and the way it looks. Without making a sound, a female stealthily makes her way through the underbrush and towards a troop of monkeys. Hidden from them, she must now patiently wait for an opportunity to pounce. The babies rely on her for up to three years and only half of them will live that long. Keeping them fed may be a full-time task as a hungry tiger has to eat at least 12 pounds of meat a day and in the summer, Watering holes tend to decrease, making it harder to find food. Animals congregate here, on alert, looking for an unseen threat. The tiger must approach with caution, as the goal is to get as close as possible. With a kill that will keep it alive through the night, the tiger fades back into the grass. While tigers require expansive territory for hunting, one other apex predator has adapted to survive in a much smaller area, thanks to the special conditions in the Galapagos Islands. The top predator of the Galapagos Islands is not a giant mammal or reptile, but a bird. But the Galapagos hawk is no ordinary bird. It has a savage beak and talons that can tear through anything. Even though iguanas are a popular prey of the hawks of the Galapagos, the real hunting opportunity comes once a year when the females leave the coast to dig burrows, where they lay and bury their eggs, and the hawks have a chance to gorge. However, the lizards are wearing, so their burrows double as hideouts, so the hawks usually leave them alone. It's not over until the music stops, but even if the hawk sinks its talons into this iguana, the lizards are incredibly powerful and can crawl loose. Each young iguana's fate depends on its short legs, luck, and the sheer number of how many of its siblings and cousins make a break at the same time. The real feast is held almost exactly 100 days later, but the hawks gather around the burrows, sensing the approaching of dinner like clockwork. Hawks produce a new generation with a taste of the Galapagos delicacy by feasting on iguana hatchlings, as the iguana's hatch coincides with the hawk's own. Predators at the top of the food chain should start training as early as possible, 
but some individuals are simply born with a talent for murder. On an East African riverbank, crocodile eggs are being incubated. The temperature of the nest determines whether the resulting crocodile will be a male or female. At this point, the young crocs are easy prey for larger crocodiles. But this is their mother, and she's not eating them. Instead, she's protecting them by picking them up with the world's deadliest jaws, which can generate a bite force of 5,000 pounds per square inch. That's more than seven times stronger than a great white shark's bite. This kid has the drive to kill nearly immediately after birth. Barely 1% of infants survive to adulthood. Once it reaches 20 years of age, a crocodile can reach 14 feet in length and 500 pounds in weight. And it will continue to advance up the food chain by eating whatever it can get into its mouth, whether it be feathered, fury or otherwise. Animals of this size that come close to watering sources are fair game. Since they are not good runners, crocodiles are ambush predators who wait for their prey to come to them. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching, so please give me thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I hope I will see you with the next video.